Hey, Daddy K, come to you from Daddy K Gym at Wellness. And I need to pop this down some. What's going on, guys? So it's snowing out there, and I'm a little upside down, a little topsy-turvy here. I don't know what the heck's going on. It's a little lopsided, I think. It looks like a lopsided on my end. Anyway, so what's going on, guys? I know the snow, it's cold, whatever, whatever. It's okay, um, because summertime's coming. <laughs> I feel it. It's coming. So, um, hey, Chuck. Hey, Margie. What's going on? Um, so, crunches. DJ was uh, watching the live video yesterday, and I asked. I put it out there, like, um, you know, if you have any questions, comments, like, what do you want to see, blah, blah, blah. So, he said crunches. So, I told him I would do a video today about crunches. So, I've done some, you know, some live videos on, you know, crunches, how to do them, what to do, whatever, whatever. Um, but the, 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 I guess I wanted to hit a different angle, right? You know, so crunches the truth, right? So the, the truth about crunches is it's only strengthening your core. It's only strengthening your muscle. It will not flatten your stomach. So I don't care how many abs, crunches, sit-ups, whatever, side bends, whatever it is that you do, it's not going to flatten your stomach. The way you flatten your stomach is through nutrition. Nutrition is 85% of how you see the results. 80, it's, it's, it's how this, it's whatever you put in your belly is what's going here, right? Hey, Jenny. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Ryan. Um, so nutrition is the key to flattening that belly, right? Crunches will only strengthen the, the core, strengthen the muscle, right? And if you do weighted crunches, it's going to make that muscle more round, more like pop out more, just like, you know, a bicep, just like your back, just like your quad. It's a muscle, guys. So it's, it's, you, it's just like any other muscle. So the truth, one, you have to, you, you should, you, some trainers will say you can do abs every single day. I say it is a muscle, just like everything else, that you should not have to do abs every single day. You should not do abs every single day. It's a muscle, it needs uh, rest. I do abs twice a week, that's all. And I do a variation of abs, um, I do a variation of crunches, I do not ever do weighted crunches. So a lot of times, you know, sometimes people, and I've said it before in a couple of the videos with, with different things about crunches and abs and all that stuff, but people will come in that are used to the other gyms that have those machines where, you know, it's weight, you sit on it, you got the bar or whatever, you're crunching, you're using abs, or, you know, like the guys will get down on their knees, have the rope and, and do the crunches with their abs. That's all good and well, but it's just like any other muscle group. It's going to bulge out. It's going to pop out. If you want your abs, you, you need to train any muscle the way you want it to look, right? Obviously, the biceps, we want it to be a nice little ball. We want it to nice, have a nice little shape, right? We don't want it to be flat. Um, quads, we want nice shape. Uh, hamstrings, we want nice shape, but we want nice shape. So with that, we need weights and different kinds of exercises, certain certain enunciations on those exercises, um, you know, for for that. And um, but if you want if you want your abs flat, if you want your belly flat, you need to train it flat. So you in in if if you're lifting weights and heavy weights, because the stronger your abs get, the stronger your muscle gets. The bigger by the the bigger weight you you curl right the 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 stronger your back gets the more weight you pull right the the stronger your chest gets the more we press so it, it, those muscles will develop and get bigger just like your abs it is a muscle folks so the more sh the the stronger you you know you, the more weights you use the stronger it gets the more weights you'll use and then the bigger the ab will get the ab muscle will grow it will get bigger right. <clears throat> it's just like any other muscle and just like any other muscle you need to have rest right so for me I do my abs Mondays and Thursdays today was an ab day um, and I want to train my abs I want my abs flat so I want to train my abs in a flat position so um, there's a lot of times where people like you know they lay on the ground they have their knees up and they, they do these crunchy curls where they're bringing their knees to the chest and their hands and their you know their chest up to their knees, that kind of thing. I don't do abs that way. I won't train abs that way. I'm not saying that that is wrong, but for me, I have found that if I want my abs flat, I'm gonna train my abs in a flat position. 
So I will, um, you know, I lay on a decline bench and I do crunches, not sit-ups. So when I'm laying on that decline bench, so my feet are up here and my back is, my head's down here, you see a lot of times people will do those full sit-ups, right? And, but once you get to this point, that's a crunch, right? Once you get to past that point, it's all like hip flexors, lower back, um, legs, you know, cause you gotta like strengthen your leg and momentum, right? So, you know, if you're, if you're on that decline and I love the decline because being up like that engages your lower abs a little bit. So I just do the crunches, right? Just lift the shoulder blades off, chin up to the ceiling. Another thing people need to do that chin up to the ceiling. They put the little L between their, their chin, pretend there's an apple or a ball or whatever. And I always tell clients to like look up at the ceiling and push their chin up to the ceiling. And that way it does keep them away. It doesn't like this, right? You're not trying to curl and crunch. You're gonna throw your neck out. You're gonna get dizzy, all that stuff, right? Um, so there's so much to to abs and crunching that you know people just don't, they just think that they can just do sit-ups and crunches and all this stuff and, and you know use all the weights that they want and they'll get their flat belly. It's not gonna work that way, folks. You gotta think logically, weights to muscle makes muscle grow. Weights to muscle, this is a muscle. Weights to muscle makes muscle grow. So if you don't want it to grow, you need it, you just need to work it, right? And you don't have to work it every day. Twice a week is all I do. Proper nutrition is the key to getting that belly flat. Everybody has those ab walls. Everybody has the abs. Like everybody's got the little the little lines and all that stuff. It's just the insulation or the refrigerator door or whatever you want to call it that's that's on that that you know you just have more more um uh you know the, the fat layers in, on top of that so the key is getting rid of the fat layers strengthening the core will strengthen the muscle and strengthen your core strengthen your lower back your back strengthens your your um a strong back will help your your abs and a strong abs will help your lower back but crunches with uh, uh, with weights is just going to make the um, sorry, <laughs> Dancing Queen my song. Everybody knows Dancing Queen's my song. It's on the radio. Um, I got I got distracted. Um, but everybody knows that weights will make muscles bulge. So, and a lot of times, like I'll get you know some women that'll come in and they'll want to work just their legs. I'm like, well, why don't you work your upper body? Well, I don't I don't want my upper body to to get big. So you do weights on your lower body to thin out your legs, but you don't want to do weights on your upper body because it's going to make your upper body big. <laughs> do you understand that? It's how you eat. It's how you lift. It's the weight that you lift. It's the reps that you do, right? Um, and uh, so back to the crunches. So another thing that I don't like and the truth about when you do side bends, the side bends, one, it hurts your spine. Like if you have a, a bad back, if you have a bad back, like for me, my SI joints pop out all the time. I, you know, I just got acupuncture for my SI popping out. Um, but when I do this, even without weights, when I do that, my SI and my lower back, my spine hurts, right? So it, it, it don't do that. Plus, it's, so it's bad for your spine, it's bad for your back, but also it gets, it, it builds this, right? It's a muscle, guys, girls. So when you're doing that, you're building that muscle. So you're not trimming it down. You're lifting the weights to, and it's building it, right? So, you know, do things, one, without weights, two, in a flat position. So when I do my abs, I'll lay flat out. I'll squeeze my, my toes together and I just crunch up. So I'm flat. I'm laying completely flat. I do um, obliques where I lay completely flat. I put my legs out like this and I lift my legs up as I do my oblique. My abs are flat. I do my decline bench where my abs are flat and I just do crunches. I do crunches on the ball where my, ab is, my abs are flat and I just crunch up to the ceiling. So, and, and when I do my lower, um, my lower abs, um, you know, I do hanging, uh, leg lifts, uh, leg, yeah, leg raises. So I'm, I've got the straps, I put my arms in there and I just raise my legs up. So, <clears throat> and I do that for my obliques as well. Um, just to get, just to, and I do one or two sets of that. So I don't focus on my obliques because they do tend to get bigger. 
um, you know, and and so, but the main the main thing that I can tell you guys is don't do weights with your abs because it's just going to build that muscle. Um, another thing is don't do crunches every single day. That's not going to flatten your stomach. If anything, it's going to make the muscle stronger, make the muscle bigger, make the muscle protrude more. It's not going to make it flat. So in this case, less is more. You know, just strengthen it up just like you do, you know, biceps. Like I, I do my, my chest one day a week. I do my back one day a week. I do my bicep, triceps one day a week. I do my shoulders one day a week. I do my abs twice a week. I use weights with everything else, but with my abs, I just use my body, um, my body weight. Um, I do planks. Um, not that I like doing planks, but we have our little plank challenge in here every Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, Friday. I've gotten out of doing planks because it, it does, it hurts my shoulders, hurts my back. Um, but I've done planks, you know, so it's, and again, you're doing that in that flat position. So think about how you want to train your, or how you want your abs to look. You should train them in that fashion, it flat, right? Don't ball them up, don't scrunch them up and don't, you know what I mean? And you don't want them to protrude. You don't want them to be rounded like a bicep or, or, you know, defined like a quad or a hamstring or whatever. So don't use weights with your abs, right? And that's one thing like what, you, what you'll find when you come into my gym, you will find necessity, um, the, the, the machines that are necessi the, that are a necessity. I don't do fluff machines. Um, you know, I have machines in here. I, I won't use, I don't have that, that roller lower back thing where you put the plate on there. And you, so many people injure their lower back doing that. Um, because they, one, they don't know how to set the machine up. And then two, they use so much weight that, and the weight is up here and not on their lower back, and it, it, they they tend to arch their back and tend to end up hurting their back. I do have a lower back extension in here, but that's body weight, um, or <coughs> um, or um, like the bolt. Like some of my clients can't do. Hold on, I'm dry. Uh, I've been coughing all morning. Um, but um, some of my uh, clients can't do. Uh, are not strong enough to do that lower back um, extension where you're like kind of up on the machine, the pads are on your thighs and you're raising up. Um, but, um, so I put them on the ball. So I, you know, get them, you know, down on the floor, put the ball up there, roll out, and then they do that on the ball. So it's, it's, it's um, restricted a little bit for their lower back, for their lower back pain, but they're also getting their lower back stronger without the use of weights without the u without the um the the strain on their lower back um what else so and no no ab machines in here you won't find any ab machines with weights in here you just won't find you will find the necessity um the, the machines that are just full necessity and of course dumbbells but anyway so with the crunches i mean hopefully dj like i didn't see you come on so hopefully i answered anybody else have any questions about crunches let me know comment below um you know but it, it crunches at least every other day. Do not do them every single day. Um, don't use weights on those on those abs. Uh, don't do side bends. Um, I would say train them in that flat position. Um, you know, do different different exercises, different angles. That's fine. But um, you know, I, I and again, I stay away from the one ab where you're doing this. I hate that because it balls them up, right? It balls your abs up. So for me, I'm training my abs that way. And I don't want to train my abs that way. I want to train them flat. So I do everything with uh, my crunches that are flat. Leg lifts, um, you know, hanging leg lifts. Um, you know, like I like I said, the the, the uh, straddle obliques, that kind of thing. So everything that's flat, because um, it is a muscle, it will grow just like any other muscle in your body. Every other day, and I only do mine twice a week. So hopefully, I've kind of covered. Um, I know I've done some videos on uh, crunches and everything and different different ways and, and different times and stuff like that, but hopefully this kind of like gathered everything and hopefully I've answered some of your questions or whatever. If not, leave me a comment after this video is over. Leave me a comment and let me know what else you know I need to touch on or, or, or respond to or whatever, and I will. Um, so uh, blah, blah, blah. I want to go back. So a couple of people... A couple of people joined, but a couple of people said something. Danny, do you do deadlift? I, we were just talking about this at um, the other night. Um, there was a guy, a young guy, came up to another guy and said, you know, what are you doing or whatever deadlift? What, what are your, what's your deadlift? I can't remember what their conversation was, but I heard 
the member um, respond and I'm like, oh my God, you are so right. Like I'm so tired of people like doing the wrong thing. So there are two different deadlifts and some people are not aware of that. So when they just say deadlift, so for me, when Mike, when Mike, you said, do you do a deadlift? I'm going to ask you what kind of deadlift? Not that I don't know what I'm, what I'm talking about, but there's a deadlift for your lower back. And then there's a stiff leg deadlift for your hamstrings and they're executed differently, completely differently. And so I was listening for my member to respond to, to the young guy and he did. He, I was like, oh my God, thank you so much. You do listen to me. <laughs> you do know what you're talking about. Um, because with deadlift, regular deadlift, that's for your lower back. You don't go down as far, you know, and, and it's, it's, for, it's almost like good mornings or whatever is for your lower back. I don't do that. Um, because that to me is just setting me up for more injury to my lower back. Um, my SI joints are, are weak, um, it, you know, because like <clears throat> my main mission, my aim, it, Jesus, I can't even speak. Uh, my main issue with my bones and my body is my muscles, my outside muscles are stronger than obviously the ligaments and the tendons. You can't get them strong. So my, my bones kind of give out and go away. So my shoulders would dislocate, my SI joints pop out um, because the muscles around there, something's got to give. And so it pulls it out. So I definitely have to watch my lower back. So I will not do deadlifts. I do stiff leg deadlifts and that's completely different um, than a regular deadlift for your lower back. Stiff leg deadlift is, you know, just keeping that bar against your legs all the way, weight on your heels, your butt sticking out, you know, your shoulders are back, you're, you're going down from your hamstrings. Deadlift is you're going, you're bending at the waist, but you're more forward because you're trying to work your lower back. And that could actually cause some definite injury if you don't know what you're doing, right? So um, there are two different deadlifts. So to answer your question, Mike, I don't do a deadlift for my back, but I do do, I do do um, stiff leg deadlifts sometimes for my, um, for my hamstrings. Again, I have to watch that too because um, years ago I popped the, the um, connective tissue between my hamstring and my, and my glute and that hurt. It was right on my sits bone and that hurt so bad. So I, I, I do it, but, but very frequently, very, very infrequently because I don't want to re-injure that because I still feel it sometimes. So um, it's heck being a, a weightlifter. No, it's, I mean, it's good stuff, but you got to know your body. You got to know what you're doing. You got to know the, the, the correct um, exercises and you got to know how to um, execute them correctly. And of course, I got you. I can, I got you. Whether you're here at Westminster or, or away, I can do online training. I can send you, you know, videos for the, if you're not here and I can't show you personally, I can send you videos of correct ways of doing, you know, executing those exercises. Um, so never think that you're, you know, out of Danny Cave reach because as long as you have Wi-Fi or, or data on your phone or your laptop, I got you, right? Uh, Ryan says the ab roller. I have done the ab roller. Um, I have an ab roller here. Um, I haven't done it in a while um, because again, if you don't actually, it's, it's very good for your abs and it does. It works it in that flat, straight out motion. Um, but if you don't execute it correctly, you could end up hurting your lower back. So that's something that, you know, I don't, I may do, and I may show some people that I know, some of my clients that I know have great form and can fall, like some of my clients can fall right into the form. Some of my clients are still 10 years later, not falling into form. Um, but you know, um, but so, so you have to be careful with that. But the ab roller is a really good, um, ab exercise as well. But again, every other day or, you know, twice a week or something like that, like uh, abs crunches do not do every single day. I know there's trainers out there that say do crunches, do abs every single day. And, and, you know, they'll make you do sit-ups and stuff like that. I will never make you do a sit-up. Um, if, if I don't believe in it, I won't have you guys doing it. Um, just because it's a cool motion or whatever it might be. Um, I will not do sit-ups. Um, now, if I'm training you for like the academy or something like that, where you have to do sit-ups, I don't like it, but we'll, we'll do them because that's what you have to do. You know, I mean, um, just like with um, chest press, when you do chest press, um, the chest press competitions, you have to come down to your chest and that's past your 90 degree point. I don't believe in that. So that's one main reason why I will never do 
a bench press competition because I won't go past my 90 degrees. Once you go past 90 degrees, you come past 90 degrees, that's all wear and tear on your shoulder, on your ligaments, on your, you know, whatever. So from there to there, that's all joint. That's all stress and just an injury waiting to happen. If you do that for a competition and you love doing that, that's fine. I, you're training that way and that's perfect. But for me personally, I will not, I won't do it. So I will come down, I'm doing my, whether it's a dumbbell or a bar, I'll come down to my 90 degree point and push it back up. <clears throat> I wanna work smarter, not, not cause any injuries. And I'm not doing competitions. I'm not you know, going to the academy or anything like that. So I don't have to do those certain things certain ways that you know have to be done for that setting you, you know what I mean I do it I do it for my health I do it for um, proper form and all of that um, Ryan how many reps oh I miss what uh, how many reps with what usually typically it just depends on what you're trying to do if you're trying to bulk and you're a guy I mean I would do four to four to six reps three to five reps if you're just trying to get cut, eight, eight to ten reps. Um, get cut and stronger, build a little bit. Um, you know, if you're a woman that's you know a little overweight or whatever, I might have you doing twelve reps. Um, it depends. It depends on what you're you know what you're doing. It's it's again not one of those questions that I personally feel comfortable in asking answering in a, a in a cookie cutter way. Um, <clears throat> where I've I've gone I've said before when when people will go up to to trainers and say how do I lose weight and people you know the the trainers will say exercise more move more and eat less and I I won't answer in cookie cutter ways so I need to know like what 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 we're talking about so you say the ab roller Ryan so the ab roller you know I would probably do twelve maybe uh, that's a little bit strenuous maybe anywhere between ten and fifteen it just depends. Um, you know, 10 to 15 reps, maybe maybe 12 reps, something like that. Usually, typically on my abs, when I do like the straight up crunches, um, I'll do any uh, like upper crunch type things, I will do 15 reps. Um, my oblique stuff, I'll do 10 to 12 reps, it depends on what I'm doing. And then my lower, my lower abs, leg lifts and stuff like that, I'll do 10 reps. Um, you're welcome. So yeah, so it just depends on what you're doing and what you're trying to do and what you're trying to accomplish. Um, as to how many reps, um, you know, and of course how heavy you should go. But yeah, definitely with, with abs, it's more or less more reps than, you know, because you're not using it weight or whatever. So more reps, um, you know, less, no weight, you know, that kind of thing. So um, at any rate, hope I uh, answered the questions. If not, again, while you're reading this, if you're or reading this, if you're watching this in a replay or whatever, um, you're, you're just tuning in or whatever, leave a comment below, ask me a question about crunches or whatever, I'll try and answer it you know, through typing. Most of the time it's a lot easier to answer certain questions, obviously vocally, than, than it is typing it. Um, but at any rate, I thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for sharing, thank you for the likes and the hearts and all that stuff. Um, I appreciate it, I appreciate your time. And so with that, stay warm and stay in tune, stay informed, stay motivated. Bye.